the centrality of theory in evaluation and the building blocks of a logical model. This video was shot at the Interact Event Impact Evaluations, Methods and Terms of References on the 21st of June 2016 in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. In this video, you will hear how evaluation has been coming out of social science and what emphasis theory has in evaluation. These theories are often depicted in a logical model. How do the basic building blocks of a logical model look like? First thing to say is that evaluation is not new. In the wider scheme of things, evaluation as a social science has really been going since about 1920. Yeah, so it's coming out very much of the industrialization process, uh, some of the new economic thinking in America uh, after um, uh, the sort of, you know, the, the, the sort of Fordian uh, development of manufacturing. And what Jacob Adler, this character at Manchester Institute of Innovation, says is that evaluation really has got two perspectives in his mind. One evaluation as part of the general practice of science. So people in science, people in social science, use evaluation as a tool and a technique to understand and progress scientific thinking. But that sort of development of evaluation within the scientific, social scientific realm has now sort of grown into the broader requirement for evaluation of publicly funded activities, publicly funded uh, interventions of the sort that we're all doing. And I mention that because understanding that evaluation has essentially come out of social science then begins to explain the origin of or the emphasis on theory. Yeah? Because most science, most social science actually builds itself around theory thinking. And that sort of little, what they call the evaluation tree, just gives you a flavour. These are all essentially academics who, this last 30 or 40 years, have sort of developed thinking of evaluation in terms of its use. These folks around here, folks like Dave Williams, folks like um, Malvin Elkin, or methods, how you evaluate, uh, how you develop evaluation methods, or how you actually, when you do evaluate, start to put values on things. And that pantheon of thinkers, that, that tree diagram of evaluators' names, that essentially is the scientific population of thinkers, philosophers, developers, who this last 40, 50 years have really moved evaluation thinking on. And core to that thinking has been the development of theory-based approaches, and that emphasis on theory-based approaches is now being picked up by the Treasury, my country, it's now being picked up by Treasuries in your country, and crucially is being picked up uh, by the European Commission. So the emphasis on theory is not, there's no, there's no magic here, there's no sort of cleverness here. It's just trying to say that as evaluation has developed this last 50, 60, 70 years, the centrality within evaluation approaches and methods on theory has become more and more centre stage. And just to drill down a little bit more on that, a theory is a collection of assumptions or hypotheses about how, how a programme's project, about how a programme, a project or an intervention will work. Typically that theory that you've developed, I pull a lever and something happens over here, there's a theory that connects those two things. Typically, that theory thinking increasingly is being used to shape the design, the appraisal, the implementation, the monitoring, and today, the impact evaluation of uh, publicly funded activity. It's typically the theory depicted in the form of a logic model. Yeah. Again, there's nothing magical about a, log a logic model. What people call it a logic chain, an intervention chain, an intervention logic, a log frame, a causal chain. Tons of expressions here. It's just a straightforward depiction of lever one, result two, what's in between. Yeah? And what it is trying to do is codify the theory into a set of inputs, a set of activities, a set of results, and maybe in the long term some wider impacts, and trying to explain the key contextual factors that links those components together. And the argument runs that theories matter for interventions, for projects, for programmes, whatever, because they provide the constant over the life of the intervention by which things can be tested, be it appraisal, be it in delivery, be it evaluation, and also the theory provides a common language by which partners and deliverers can act, proceed, 
and change direction as and when necessary. Right, so that's all the sort of scientific, social scientific stuff out of the way. That's where the phrase theory comes from. Nothing magical, nothing clever about that. The form of a logic model. And you'll have all seen this diagram, or something like it. The basic building blocks of a logic model start with the conditions. What's broken that we need to fix? Yeah. Okay, what, what are the indicators? What's broken? What's our rationale for intervening to fix it with taxpayers, European taxpayers' cash? What, in the light of that rationale, are the objectives we want to set ourselves? What, in the light of those objectives, inputs do we require? What do those inputs allow us to do activity-wise? What do those activities give rise to? Outputs, yep, yeah. correct. Which then gives rise to? Oh, yes, you're expert, yeah. And the loop that then closes that off is what? From, loop from where to where? So you're saying where? From results back to condition indicators. Any alternatives to that? To close the logical loop of thinking, something's broken, we're trying to repair it, we've done some things, the logical step to close is absolutely, are we by doing those things then addressing those conditions that were broken in the first place? And you may not really like you may not me you may not like me saying this, but the biggest success, the biggest token of your success as program designers, implementers, monitors, and evaluators is you're so good, we make you all unemployed because your projects are so effective down here at addressing that up there. We don't need you again. You fix the problem. So yeah. There's no problems. So there's no problems. Yeah. No well, there may be new problems, but on the existing problems, you've sorted out the existing problems, yeah? And the difficulty with a lot of the experience we do in the UK, a lot of the stuff I see internationally is programs are very interested in understanding none of this stuff, because that's all quite complicated. They are interested in that, how much we've got to spend. Quite interested in that, what are we doing? Quite interested in outputs. But you know what? There's another, another program call just come through, so I've not got any time to look at results because I'm going to start looking again at inputs and the next set of activities. Yeah. So rather than having a logic chain that works from end to end, a lot of program activity is like on a wheel. Yeah. Hamster wheel here. Give me another project. Give me some more funding. Give me another project. Give me some more funding. Give me another project. Give me some more funding. Yeah. And the results. And the difference those results are making to the conditions often gets forgotten about. Good monitoring, good evaluation is about understanding this totality, yeah, and where these results are actually addressing and correcting the uh, conditions we had at the first place. So that's a sort of broad, the building blocks of a logic model. And of course, that then finds different depictions, different forms, different presentations in the real world. Here's a simple looking logic model. Okay, so rather than running from here, down to here, it now runs from here to here. This is for a business support program, conditions and rationale, da 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 Simple logic model to a more complicated one. Now this is one that was developed for the European Commission, which was looking at the role of fruit and vegetables in health outcomes for school children. So you can begin to see just how quite complicated this thing is. Yeah? How you actually ever, in the real world, evaluate or monitor this effectively, I think there's a question mark, yeah, really quite complicated. You get different depictions this way, so contextual conditions, targets, imports, activities and processes, etc, etc. If you'd like to see more details about the evaluation of Interact programs and projects, please check out the different models Interact produced. In each of the models, you will find various materials such as videos, guidance papers, Q&A documents, links and other details.